Jack Lowry, and I am uh, this week's studio visit artist for I Like Your Work. Um, I'm here in my studio in Brantford, Connecticut, which is just outside of uh, New Haven, and I'm gonna show you around. Um, I work primarily uh, in plywood. I make uh, carved plywood sculpture, um, and then I get really into um, sort of ornamenting the, the finished sculpture in a variety of mixed media. Most of the pigmentation you'll see is oil paint. Um, I use a lot of fabric scraps. Uh, weavings, little weavings that I do um, that get kind of buried in paint and thread often. Um, I like to create a variety of textures using a lot of different materials, but those are the main the main materials that I use. Um, I work in sort of two modes, um, which I have an example behind me of each. The sort of rectangular-ish piece is what I call a painted weaving. Um, I'll show you those in more detail. Um, and the piece um, on the other side is, a, is an example of a, of a more sculptural piece. I think they both sort of hover right around the midpoint between painting and sculpture. Um, one reads a little bit more like a painting, the other a little bit more like a sculpture, and I like to work in both modes. Um, they sort of feed each other. Sometimes I feel like I want to be a little bit messier and looser, and um, so I work on a painting. Sometimes I like to have sort of the more meditative um, process of uh, the, the sculptures tend to have a little bit more of the repetitive pattern. Um, and sometimes that's the mood I'm in, and I sort of work in both modes at all times. Um, right now I have a lot of examples of finished work in my studio um, of the sculptural variety um, that I am getting ready to bring to Headstone Gallery for a show in April uh, in Kingston, New York. And most of my weavings are with Elijah Wheat Showroom right now. They're getting ready to take my uh, work to Future Fair in May. So I have one example of of a finished piece, uh, finished weaving, but I also have a bunch of in-process weavings that I'm hoping to get done for that show. So I will, um, I'll show you around and, and show you both. So here's my studio from the doorway. Um, that area right there is sort of where I work most of the time. That uh, table is my, my tabletop I work on. Um, and here you can see a sort of a stack of finished work in the corner, uh, a lot of mess over there, and some tools, and here's some more finished work hanging on the wall. Uh, down here I have some weavings that are in progress, I'll show you those later. Uh, my tools, carving tools, and here's sort of my plywood stack and some very rough unfinished work. This is how they all start. I sort of laminate pieces of plywood together and then I carve away the excess to make a smooth form. This is my painting zone over here. It's where I mix. I actually don't do a lot of mixing with paint. I use them right out of the tube a lot of the time. Um, but that's where that happens. Uh, over here I have a, well, I guess this is, this is my wall of inspiration. A lot of my kids' artwork uh, to remind me to loosen up and um, some, I don't know, little patterny things I've made over the years. Here's a bunch of fabric scraps that wind up getting uh, stuck to the wall to sort of remind me of things I might want to use. <clears throat> Here's a piece I just finished. Um, show you some of the detail. This one has a lot of the elements that I often use. It has some sort of low relief carving in here. Um, a lot of this patterning is, is made by scratching through layers of oil paint. And then up here there's an example of the, um, the weavings that I use. So I make these little weavings and then I kind of um, adhere them to the surface and paint over them. Um, down below are some examples of how I use fabric. It's very, it's sort of hard to tell, but you see some sort of the edges, um, some variation in the surface, which is uh, created by burying fabric under paint. And then here I've scraped off some of it to reveal layers below. Um, 
So that's a pretty typical thing that I do. So that's a good example of a sculpture. It's an example of uh, what I call painted weaving. This midsection is all uh, a woven surface um, and I will show you how that comes to be. But again, I'm, I'm using the same kind of techniques. Um, you see the vertical lines are, are the underlying weaving. And then um, you can see some examples of, this is, a, this is fabric that gets them painted over. Um, here's some fabric that's buried underneath a little bit of paint here, but you see some of the uh, original pattern of the fabric coming through. Here's another finished uh, sculpture. Again, with a lot of sort of variety of different techniques. And here's a stack of finished sculptures. Um, some some uh, weavings in progress on the floor. Um, let me show you how the weavings work because it's a little confusing. So this is an example, this is like the very first stage of the weaving. I've created like a, a wooden armature. Um, looks kind of like a ladder or a rib cage. And then I weave thread around the wooden armature and it winds up creating a surface that I can paint on. So that gets um, gessoed and then, and then I can start to paint on it. This is, a, this is one that's in progress. I haven't carved the frame yet, I'm just working on the painting. And then behind it I have this giant one, this is the first time I've made one larger, so I've piece, I've had to sort of piece together. It's hard to weave a, a big uh, structure, so I've pieced together smaller weavings and we'll see whether that works. Um, So I hope that was fun and gave you a better sense of my work. Thanks for being here with me and I like your work. Uh, if you want to find more about me, my website is Becca Lowry, B-E-C-C-A-L-O-W-R-Y.com and my Instagram is the same, Becca Lowry. Um, but I'm shifting to using Beck, so um, if you can't find, if you're looking at this in the future and you can't find me there, um, please look for Beck, B-E-C-K, Lowry, L-O-W-R-Y. Um, I should be out there. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.